So now I made a cover out of a <laughs> PVC pipe. I split the PVC, hit it with a heat gun and molded it to cover the battery like a soap. And then I got a piece of sheet metal and just kind of bent it so it will slip in between there, just like a soap. Like that. And then put this on there. And down here. There you go. It's a little floppy, but it won't come out. So now I'm just gonna clean this a little bit and paint it black so it would uh, blend in with everything. Ready? One, two, three. There it is. Now I'm gonna put the seat on and then we ride. Got a few kind of uh, accessory additions. I had these from my other cafe racer bike that were not fitting very well. So I made some shims and I got these installed handlebar in mirrors. I'm not a fan of these, but that's what I had. So I don't want to have to buy any extra mirrors. So I got, got these installed. I mean, they're cool, but like I said, I'm just not a big fan of them. They work. That's all that matters. And then, of course, the rear brake light switch uh, was missing. It goes in that bracket there. But I went ahead and I made a bracket or a housing for the brake light switch and just zip tied it to here. I'll clip the zip ties, make them look better, and uh, hooked it to the brake lever. And they work good. So that's it for now. I am sanding down the gas tank because I'm going to paint it a different color than just black. But apparently the old, <laughs> the old color scheme is pretty cool. It has this gray stripe i'm guessing it's it's gray and red edges that that's pretty that's pretty cool actually mm. too bad it's kind of ruined because of the post paint that was done to it um you know what i could do is i could also like um what do you call it just clear coat it as is and kind of make it a uh, a retro but eh, i'm gonna i'm gonna paint a different color uh it looks like the front of it was all the base coat was red and then they put the gray over it. Yeah, so it looked like there was some damage here or something because here everything looks intact. But yeah, it would have been cool to uh, to have the old paint scheme the way it is, but it is what it is. I wet sanded all the blemishes uh, try to get it as smooth as possible. Started with uh, 320, no, 80. Then went to, went to 180, went to 1000. Just to uh, smooth out the the lumps. And because once I paint it, the, the paint's going to smooth it out. But that's what it's going to look like. I wet sanded it. I mean, its original paint scheme was pretty cool. I mean, I like it. If, if it. if it stayed intact like this, I would have left it that way. But, you know, since all the dings and blemishes and up here, it had a really bad blemish. So I'm just going to paint it the way I want it. So, yep, that's what I'm going to do next. I tried to fill these holes with some Bondo, but the problem is the hardener. Uh, I think it went bad, so it never hardened. So I got some old JB Weld tank 
weld and put them in the holes there. That right there, I think I'm just gonna leave it like that and just paint over it. Covered that hole and I fixed this uh, corner that had the chip missing out of it. So, get it sanded down and then we paint.